Hey guys, welcome to Jelly Arts, I'm Jelly and I'm back with another video and today I'm bringing you guys a very special video because I'm going to be collaborating with White Manga. A lot of you might know him because he makes a lot of great tutorials on how to make manga and stuff like that. When I was starting out, a ton of his tutorials helped me so I'm super excited to be collaborating with him. As you can see here, I'm coloring Meliodas from the 7 Deadly Sins that was drawn and inked by White Manga. So if you want to see the process of the entire drawing, go check out his part of the collaboration where he drew Meliodas. And this is pretty much the part where I color this illustration. The link to his channel and his part of the collaboration will be in the description below. And while we were drawing and coloring him, we decided that we share our thoughts on reference and tracing and give some tips on how to use reference. I think White Manga gave 10 tips on how to draw with reference without tracing. Um, I came up with 6 tips, so if you see both videos, you'll get 16 tips in total. I mean, unless some of them are repeated, I mean, I haven't seen this video yet so sorry in advance if some are repeated now i will mention my tips at the end but first i feel like we need to have a discussion about tracing and using reference because i feel it's a topic that a lot of people are interested in most especially beginner artists that don't know if using reference is good or if tracing is a bad thing now i feel comfortable talking about it because uh, i've had a lot of experience because i've traced i've used reference so i i do feel like i can talk about it and i do have a little bit to say about it and you know hearing the point of views of other artists you know helped me a lot with the dilemma of you know tracing and using reference i also want to talk about it because a lot of people ask me in the comment section of my tutorials if i use reference and in short yes i always use reference in my tutorials um i think it would be impossible to remember the faces of everyone i draw so yeah i always use reference whenever i make any drawing as most of you already know i started drawing at a very young age okay I almost can't remember when I wasn't drawing as I was starting out obviously I wasn't good at drawing okay and I was super frustrated because my drawings were never as good as professional artists I still struggle with this problem by the way but as a result of that what I did back then was I started tracing now this was a good and a bad thing it was a good thing because tracing helps it helps beginner artists kind of get a feel of how a decent looking drawing should look like it's good practice now, now it was a bad thing because I would start telling people that they were my original drawings, okay? Because I wanted to show people how good I was at drawing, when in truth, I actually traced them. I don't think I've mentioned this before, but I just thought that you guys will, you know, kind of learn from my mistakes. So that's the point of me kind of exposing myself back then. Anyways, now this is obviously a bad thing, okay? Because one, it's obvious when someone traces, okay? It's super obvious when somebody traces a drawing. Number two, you get the dilemma of people saying, okay make this exact drawing again in this blank sheet of paper or I'll kill you now I'm kidding but I think you get the idea I was unable to redraw the drawing and number three it just doesn't help anyone it doesn't help you as an artist and doesn't help other people because you're, you're you're just lying you're lying to them you're lying to yourself now this doesn't mean tracing is a bad thing okay if you are going to trace because you're starting out and you're using tracing to practice go right ahead I mean more power to you tracing can be an amazing way to practice what I'm pretty much saying is that if you are going to trace there's absolutely no shame in doing that but just don't lie about it like i did back then now tracing can only get you so far though after a while you need to stray yourself away from tracing and start using the image that you're tracing as a reference picture and we'll get to that in just a minute now don't think that tracing is only used to make an exact copy of something tracing can be a very helpful tool a lot of professionals trace and till this day i still trace but obviously for different reasons for example, whenever I draw portraits or realistic drawings, sometimes I tend to trace out the outlines because structuring the whole drawing for me is the worst part, so I would trace it out first. Now, there are people who love structuring the drawings and, you know, figuring out where things go, but personally, I think it's a pain, so I tend to skip that part of the process sometimes. I mean, it's ironic because I'm about to give you guys tips on how you can actually do that, but I think realistic drawings and anime or cartoony drawings are different, okay? Realistic drawings do require more more work but still i mean the tips still apply to both realistic drawings and anime slash manga drawings all right so reference pictures okay there are two ways you can use a reference picture the first one is obviously straight on copying and the second is implementing things that you see in the reference into your own original drawing or your own style as i mentioned i came up with six tips okay to help you use reference without tracing the first three tips are for straight on copying and the last three tips 
shapes are for using them in your original drawings. Now I have no idea if White Manga used some of these tips, okay, because I haven't seen his video, so yeah, ap apologies if some of them are repeated. The first tip is use guidelines. Now we'll start from the basics of the basics, okay, and I'm sure most people use guidelines anyway, but I still feel like it's a tip I had to put in there. Always start from the foundation because a building without a solid foundation can never stand. Now there are people who can make whole illustrations without guidelines, okay, and have the whole foundation in their heads, but that's another level. And to be honest, it's super rare, so I, I wouldn't get into that. That's a whole nother level. Now the second tip is, at first you wanna think generally and not focus on a detail first. For example, if you're drawing an entire body, I suggest you think of the entirety of the body first. Ent entirety? Is, it, is that a word? <laughs> Entirely, entirely. It sounds worse the more I pronounce it. Yeah, focus on the entire body first, okay? The head, the arms, the legs, the waist. Focus on structuring the entire thing first and then add the details after. Because in the beginning, details are distracting and it's tempting to start from the details because we tend to always want to, you know, jump right into the details and we want to add details first, which isn't helpful. So, first thing generally before adding details. The third tip is after placing everything that you need okay after you've already drawn the whole thing I suggest you go back and forth and see how close you were to the original drawing obviously the closer you want it to look to the reference the more time you're gonna spend kind of fine-tuning right then after you're done with that you know you can go ahead and you know ink it color it or whatever you want to do next all right so the next couple tips are more directed to tweaking the reference a little bit or make a complete entire original illustration from it the fourth tip is you don't have to be perfect Perfect. And this also goes for people who are making straight copies. It's perfectly fine if things don't look exactly the same or you think things could be altered in your favor. Which leads me to my next tip. Feel free to change things up a bit if it's more comfortable for you. Now this would be a very helpful tip for people who are, I don't know, kind of looking for their own style. I suggest you start from there, tweak things to your liking and eventually you'll find the style that suits you. Alright, so the last tip is, and I know a lot of people are gonna hate me for this, it's to practice. Literally practice as much as you can. Whether you want to make straight on copies or your original drawings, you've got to practice to perfect the skill that is drawing, because that's what it is a skill and as with any skill the only way to get better is by trial and error for some people it might take longer to perfect than others but trust me if you're passionate enough you can reach the skill of your favorite artist and at some point can even surpass them but obviously it's not gonna be easy it's gonna take a lot of work because nothing comes easy but if you're passionate enough about drawing the journey will be way more enjoyable than you think anyways those are pretty much my tips on the subject if you're thirsty for more tips definitely go check out white manga as part of the collaboration okay where he gives 10 other tips and if you like this drawing and want to see more of his work definitely check out his channel i can't suggest you guys enough to check out his channel his videos help me a lot so i highly recommend checking out his channel he also has a manga series called apple black so i highly suggest you check it out as well you can purchase the first two volumes okay if you want i think right now he's working on the third volume i think he's also working on a new manga called bakasi yeah all the information will be in his description okay so definitely check out his work okay they're amazing but yeah i'll leave his part of the collab as well as the link to his his channel in the description below all right so that's pretty much it for me thank you all for liking commenting sharing and subscribing remember to do what you love never stop drawing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye